bonjour! Today we're going to learn how to do passé composé with avoir. Passé composé is known as the compound tense. It's referred it's the compound past tense and it's referred to this because it requires two verbs a helping or auxiliary verb and a past participle. Avoir is going to be our helping or auxiliary verb and our past participle will vary based on what we're trying to say. Um, avoir is also known as the conjugated verb because it will change for subjects. Our past participle though is our translated verb and it's going to stay steady. If you're conjugating your verb out it stays the same for every subject regardless of tense or gender for now. So, avoir is your conjugated helping auxiliary verb and the past participle is your translated verb. Two verbs, one tense, passé composé, the compound past. Now how do we form this? Well first we'll conjugate avoir. We're going to add the past participle and then we'll add the ras or rest of sentence. So in this example, j'ai adoré le passé composé. I loved passé composé. Note your form of avoir, the AI. It's in green. Adore, in, it's your past participle and it is in purple. And your ras, the passé composé, is in orange. I've used the color coding throughout so when you're taking notes you can do the same and try to keep things straight. To form the past participle it's very easy. For ER verbs all you have to do is drop the ER and put an E accent aigu. We have one irregular ER verb. You're going to do the same thing for it. You'll drop the ER and put an E accent aigu. For regular RE verbs, you'll drop the RE, put a U. And for regular IR verbs, you're just going to drop the R. It's the easiest one. So let's look at how we conjugate passé composé. So we've got parler to speak. Very basic ER verb. We've done this one since the very beginning. So as we conjugate it, I want you to look. Parler in purple stays the same throughout the conjugation. But what changed was our form of avoir which changed with the subject. So we have j'ai parlé, tu as parlé, il a parlé, elle a parlé, nous avons parlé, vous avez parlé, ils ont parlé, elles ont parlé. Notice that our form of avoir changed throughout. And each of these is translated three ways. J'ai parlé, I spoke, I did speak, I have spoken. Um, tu as parlé and vous avez parlé are both con uh, translated. You spoke, you did speak, you have spoken. And if you notice, I've put a couple of con uh, translations here. They will all follow the same format. Uh, if you need to, pause the presentation so that you can take notes because this will be on a quiz. For our E verbs, vendre to sell, it's the same. We drop the RE when put a U to get our past participle vendu and we conjugate the verb avoir throughout. So j'ai vendu, tu as vendu, il a vendu, elle a vendu, nous avons vendu, vous avez vendu, ils ont vendu, elles ont vendu. And notice when we say this, we do say the S like a Z because it's before a vowel. And of course this is translated three different ways. J'ai vendu is I sold, I did sell, I have sold. Um, Ils ont or elles ont vendu is they sold, they did sell, they have sold. Again, pause to take notes. Okay, for IR verbs, 
we drop the R to get our past participle, choisi, and then we conjugate the verb avoir, and it goes, j'ai choisi, tu as choisi, il a choisi, elle a choisi, nous avons choisi, vous avez choisi, ils ont choisi, elles ont choisi. And again, choisi did not change throughout the conjugation, the form of avoir did. And we translate this, we chose, we did choose, we have chosen. He chose, he did choose, he has chosen. And if you notice, the three verbs that we just did, parler, vendre, and choisir, all happen to be irregular verbs in English. But in French, they're considered regular verbs. So if we had conjugated a regular verb, such as danser, J'ai dansé, tu as dansé, il a dansé, nous avons dansé, vous avez dansé, elles ont dansé. If we had done that, it would be he danced. He did dance, he has danced. And we do not translate avoir. It just happens to be one of the forms. But we do not translate avoir, we translate choisi, danse, parler, vendre, vendu. Okay? Again, pause, rewind, whatever you need to do, take notes. So how do we make negations with this? We've got two verbs. Where do we put our ne pas, or our ne rien, or our ne jamais? Well, for right now, your negation is going to embrace or hug the conjugated verb. Which is our conjugated verb? If you said avoir, you are correct. So, these are some examples. Notice I conjugated. Well, I used all of our subjects for conjugation. And we have je n'ai rien acheté. I bought nothing. Tu n'as pas fini l'examen. You didn't finish the test. Il n'a pas vendu de hot dog. He didn't sell hot dogs. Nous avons, sorry, nous n'avons pas joué avec les chats. We don't play with cats. Vous n'avez pas attendu le bus. You didn't wait for the bus. Elles n'ont jamais choisi bien. The girls never choose well. Nah. Okay, so this isn't a social commentary. But these are some examples. And notice I added another color to our conjugation. I used red for negations. So these are our colors decoded. And we go back and you'll notice that we have the red of our negation, which is embracing the green of our form of avoir. Then we have our purple, which is our past participle, and the raws the rest of the sentence. Feel free to write these down, to copy them. Um, feel free to pause for the meanings of each of the sentences. And again, this is our colors decoded. J'ai adoré la passe composé. Il n'a pas joué au basket. He didn't play basketball. Okay, so how do you make a question in passé composé? Well, that is a very good question because they can be long. We know using ESCA is the easiest way to write a question or NESPA, but what we're going to, but it makes it long because we've got two verbs. So what do we do? Well, we use something that's called subject verb inversion. And when we do this, we have a little thing we do. So here are our steps. We're going to eliminate esca. So in this question, esca tu as mangé del? Did you eat garlic? We eliminated esca by marking through it. We're identifying our subject. So I've got that in a south blue. Um, and we identify our conjugated verb. What's our conjugated verb? If you said avoir, you are correct. So, tu as mangé 
del, so you need the to and the a. Our subject and our conjugated verb are going to flip or invert. When we stick a hyphen between it, so that we know that they go together. So, a tu manger de l'elle is, did you eat the garlic? Did you eat garlic? It's same as the first question, it's just shorter. Much shorter. If we wanted to make the question negative, then we would follow the same first three steps. But now, you're going to take that na pa out and you're going to put it around whatever is hyphenated. So your negation, na pa, is going to embrace or hug the hyphenated items in your sentence. So, at this time, feel free to rewind. Take notes, please. If you have questions, send them to me via Edmodo. And um, we've got a quiz or three on the material. Au revoir.